Hi, I'm Lori Simpson of Minikin Simpson. And I'm Polly Minikin. Welcome to our booth. We're going to show you what we have to offer this market. Uh, today, I'm going to demonstrate big stitch hand quilting. Um, it's a form of hand quilting that goes very, very quick. Um, if you want to intro into uh, handwork, it's a really great place to start. And all four of my quilts here in the booth are done using the big stitch hand quilt method. Um, first of all, it's very simple. You know, you need a frame or a hoop. Um, you need a quilt, quilt basted. And I've done some preliminary markings on the quilt. As you can see, I've done some circles in some areas. In some areas, I'm going to do some straight lines. And um, you can use stencils. Or what I did for this, I just went in my kitchen and pulled out a couple plates and saucers and cups and just decided what size circle I wanted and made my own templates. And I did some concentric circles in some areas and in other areas I'm going to do straight lines. And one of my favorite ways to make a straight line is with a hair marker, which kind of looks like a, if you're into scrapbooking or paper things, it's like a, resembles a bone folder or sort of a big plastic butter knife. And what it does is it marks on your quilt a very sharp crease instead of a marking pencil. So you never have to worry about the marks coming out. And what you do is you use your ruler and almost like it was a rotary cutter, but it's not a rotary cutter, just draw it along the edge of the ruler and you get a straight, a very sharp mark in your quilt. And that'll stay in your quilt about a day or two days until you quilt it. And it's a great way to do straight lines. And now I'll show you how I do the quilting. This is my hoop. And my quilt is all basted. And I put the quilt in the hoop. And once I have my area in the hoop, I want a little bit of slack. So I press some slack in there and tighten up my hoop. And I'll show you the stitching. It's always nice to have a chair with arms for your arms to rest. And I have a thimble on my middle finger and on my index finger I do use a finger cut, a rubber tip to help grab the needle. And the needles I use are you want a long, sharp, embroidery type needle, and this specifically is a, a cotton darner needle. It's long and skinny and sharp. And the thread I like to use is Orafil 12 weight. You can also use pearl cotton. This is the same thickness as a pearl cotton. But the Orafil is just a lovely thread. It comes in many, many colors. And I've started here a few minutes ago. I've done one area and I've been starting another and the trick to big stitch quilting is just taking even stitches pretty big stitches it's the same movement as a regular quilting stitch it's a rocking stitch and I just try to make my stitches and the spaces in between them equal even distance. And as you can see, I am, this goes very fast. And I, um, I quilt every evening after dinner and before I go to bed, um, usually sitting in front of the TV. And I can get quite a bit done. My goal is to, this is a 40 inch by 40 inch quilt, and my goal is I think I can get most of this quilt top quilted here at Quilt Market. Um, these four quilts here, I hand quilted with a big stitch in about five to six weeks. And that's working only in the evenings. So uh, if you think you like hand work, but didn't want to jump into hand quilting a quilt because you thought it was just too much time to invest, I think you'd be very happy.
trying the big stitch quilting. Thank you.